Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Last summer, Governor Rick Scott began efforts to remove non-U.S. citizens from Florida's voting rolls. Scott asked the Department of Homeland Security to give the state access to its immigration database to avoid making mistakes. There's no perfect time to do any of these things. You just, we just want fair elections. In May, Scott tired of waiting on the feds. The state moved forward with its voter purge efforts using 3,000 names from a state DMV database. But the list was flawed and U.S. citizens, some of them war heroes, were caught in the fray. We, in fact, need credible and reliable information. That's what the law requires. And I did not believe that this was credible information. Most of the state's supervisors of elections stopped the purge. The feds sued Scott. And Scott filed his own suit, demanding access to the immigration database. Last month, a federal judge ruled in Scott's favor, saying his voter purge efforts can continue. But without access to the database, the state risks ousting voters who are legally registered. So for now, the efforts are on hold as Scott tussles with the Department of Homeland Security. Voter registration groups like the League of Women Voters are watching his every move and are ready to pounce if the purge goes awry. Were there to be a situation where, um, you know, prior to the general election or, you know, ongoing, um, that voters were being uh, removed from the rolls who were eligible to vote, um, we feel that we could go back uh, to, to the court. As the standoff continues and elections approach, a warning from the federal judge in the case stands, quote, irreparable harm will result if non-citizens are allowed to vote. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.